up guys and welcome back to another video it's your girl faith martini and today i'm coming at you with an after dark clean with me video whoo <laughs> whoa okay first of all i'm gonna go ahead and start this video by saying that in this channel i post content on motherhood lifestyle and cleaning i am real i am raw i am honest i get vulnerable on this channel i share with you my life i share with you my experiences as a single mom to twin boys my twin boys are currently one years old and they do make a mess of my house yes i know that your house is probably cleaner than mine that's okay but here you will find that there are sometimes uh, it, it gets a little messy sometimes if you cannot handle that kind of content if you don't want to watch real raw clean with me videos if you don't care for that if you want to go see a clean house being cleaned there are quite a few of them actually on YouTube you can go find another video to watch but if you're going to continue watching this video, then be sure to know that that is what you're going to find here. It is real. It is raw. There is a mess. It does get dirty and that is why it is being clean. So let's go ahead and get into the cleaning. <laughs> there once was a lady in a polka dot dress with the bastard on her head. There were coconuts and cherries, ripe bananas and blueberries in her lips People of the town would come and gather round just to listen to a song. With a smile, she would say, It's such a lovely day, everybody sing along. Singing la ti di da ti da ti da da said, Move like this. Singing la ti di da ti da ti da da and shake your hips. Turn to the right, turn to the left, and do a little dip up. I'm sure you're probably wondering oh my gosh she just started the video all mad and upset <laughs> no I wasn't mad or upset I'm not really mad um, I just I posted a video last week and I'm actually gonna link it right here if you haven't seen it and it got a lot of views and it's still getting a lot of views and it's one of my my one of my rawest realest videos I mean it was my apartment was really dirty when I posted that video and I was definitely going through something um, that resulted in my apartment getting into that state but I was like you know what I'm gonna you know record this I'm gonna share it with the world because I know 
know that there is somebody else out there who also kind of wants to see this kind of content. Now, of course, I knew that there was going to be some sort of hate, some sort of dislike to the video, but I definitely did not expect to get the kind of comment that I the kind of comments that I received from that video. And honestly, I know that the internet is full of trolls. Like I know that there are people who just absolutely love to get on, you know, on their phones, on YouTube and, you know, share their opinions. And that's good, right? We live in a free world. You are welcome to air your opinions, whatever you want. But people, some people have no consideration of how their opinions affect other people. And they just say what they want to say um, if they don't find something appealing. And I understand that the video was definitely not... My apartment was not in the best state in that video. I mean, like, that's why I titled it the way that I titled it, because I know that it was definitely shocking. The state of the apartment was definitely shocking. But... When I received the comments that I did receive, it made me, like, it kind of got me a little scared, to be honest. Like, some of the comments were really, they were kind of rude and really blunt. And yes, I am a pretty blunt person as well. And I do appreciate a certain level of honesty and, you know, bluntness. But when I post a video um, show, that I'm showing you real mess, I'm showing you my apartment, and I am taking you through, through the process of cleaning it and getting it to a better state. I don't expect you to constantly make comments about how bad it was or how nasty it is, you know? Like, we all have those days. We all have those moments where we let ourselves go or we let our apartments go because we're going through something. And this was one of those moments for me. However, one thing that I want to set straight in my channel is that this is not going to be a place of negativity. There's already so much hate, so much negativity in this world that we really do not need anymore. We really don't need any more people just saying whatever they want to say for the sake of saying it. I, I am very open to feedback. I'm very open to, you know, constructive criticism. And if that is something that you see you want to provide, I definitely will welcome that. But what I will not allow or welcome is ignorant, unnecessary comments that don't really take into consideration the whole situation. Most of the people that actually watched that video that made the negative comments or disliked the video probably didn't watch the whole video. They probably just watched a, a few clips and were like, wow, this is really messy. And they left. And then they decided to leave a comment and then leave. And I deleted, of course, all those comments because I am not going to allow you to come into my channel, to come into my space, into my world, into this environment that I'm creating and pollute it with your disgusting comments and then leave and go to your normal life. You have left a nasty comment on my video and you're going to go and live your normal life and leave me with the repercussions of what you said. You really think that I'm going to allow you to do that? You really think that I'm going to give you that power over me and over my life? You uh, you got you got it twisted if you think that's that's how it's gonna be here. It definitely isn't. I know that there are a lot of trolls on the internet, but on this channel, if you want to be a troll, if you want to be a little monster, you are going to be a quiet little monster. You're going to come and you're gonna watch the video. If you don't like it, you're going to dislike and then you're gonna go on your way. You're not going to leave me a negative comment and pollute my comment section or even like promote an environment of negativity down there just so you can, you know, get out what you think. It's not going to be like that at all on this, on this channel. It's not going to be like that at all on this, on my, in my content. And I just, who I, I've been holding that one in for quite some time. So I'm sorry that this rant is really, really long. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just could not believe it, guys. Like the, some of the things that I received, like somebody actually made a comment that that my apartment w was really dirty, that the CPC CPS could come and take my children. Like, I, are you serious? Are you really kidding me right now? You have the audacity to leave me a comment like that and then you're going to go on your way? Do you really think that I'm going to allow you to have that kind of power over me? Seriously? 
<laughs> I have kids. It gets messy. Sometimes it gets even messier than other times. And I am going to continue to post those, that kind of content, those kind of videos. If you want to waste your time, uh, you know, and your energy come in here and, you know, posting your neg negative comments, you definitely can, but they will not be aired on my channel. I will delete every single negative comment that doesn't go with my vibe. You will not mess up my energy. You will not mess up my vibe. It is too precious. It is too important. I have children who rely on me, who depend on me to be at my best, who depend on me to be happy, to, to have a positive energy around me. And I will not allow you to pollute that with your ignorant comments comments. I just absolutely will not. But despite the negative comments that I received, guys, I got a ton, a ton, a ton more comments of people who resonated with the video who said, oh my gosh, you know what? I, I understand because I've been there, <laughs> you know, even without kids, I've been there. And I know that sometimes it gets tough, it gets hard, and it's hard to clean. And that's how it was in this video. It was tough. I was going through something, and it made it a, lo a little bit harder for me to take care of my, my house. Of course, I still took care of my children, but it made it hard for me to take care of my house. And, you know... I don't post my videos, these cleaning videos, for people who actually have clean houses. I don't post it for you if you don't need a cleaning motivation. I post it for those people who actually need cleaning motivation, who actually want to see a dirty house get clean, who actually, you know, realize that it gets tough sometimes, it gets hard some days, and you just don't have the motivation, and you need some to see somebody else who's doing the same thing that you need to do, doing it, and that gives you the motivation and inspiration to actually do it. So, thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much to those of you who enjoy the content and who understand that it gets hard sometimes. It gets, you know, it, it gets difficult to take care of things the way that you want to take care of them. And wow, I'm sorry about the long rant, <laughs> but that was just really weighing on me. And I just had to, I had to put it out there to let people know, like, this is not the place. This is not your place. If you want to spread negativity, if you want to be negative, this is not here. This is not where you're going to do it. I do appreciate you know, feedback. And I'll always take that. And I got some feedback on, you know, on that video that I'm going to incorporate because I know that, you know, that did not show my best. But all the other negative comments, you can just say bye-bye because those ones are just not going to see the light of day. I've been losing hope it feels like there's nothing to keep us from drowning Maybe we got too comfortable And there's something missing, don't know how to fix it We go back and forth, we try to force, it just ain't right Pick a side, you stay on yours, I'll stay on mine Got history, we never see what's across that line Yeah, we do this every time
say hello 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 and welcome to all of my new subscribers thank you so much for joining the farm i really do appreciate you it sucks that i was able to find you in this circumstances but we found each other and i'm so happy that we did so i hope you're enjoying this content now if you are watching this video and you're not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content um, as i mentioned before I do post content on motherhood, lifestyle, and cleaning. I am a single mom to twin boys. Their names are Hodari and Milambu, and they're currently one year old. Um, gosh, I am learning. I am growing throughout this motherhood journey, and I hope to share with you my experiences here. I hope to share with you my real life, raw um, cleaning videos that show you that it happens. Life happens, but even though life happens, we still get up and we take care of it. We still, you know, clean up. We still you know look our best we still do do what we need to do despite what's going on in our lives so yeah thank you so much for joining the farm and if you haven't be sure to hit that subscribe button leave me a like and a comment down below to let me know what you think only good vibes guys <laughs> no negative comments no negative energy good vibes only feedback always a welcome <laughs> No stress, though they're waiting I keep them waiting Makeup on fleek, high heels, ripped jeans They're all waiting I'm on my way, yeah. Looking in the mirror at myself like who that? Swag on a thousand and my girls got my back We just want the party, call me tequila shawty We just want the party, yeah, yeah You can bring your friends, we won't mind it we just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Ooh, baby, I know I turn you on You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Ooh, baby, I know I turn you on When my friends pull around and they got the top down on our way we're on our way Turn that music up You know we don't give a what On our way We're on our way Pull up to the party like my name is the life Tension so thick you could cut with a knife Ask me how I do that Been fly since way back Ask me how I do that Yeah, 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 yeah You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to dance and go all night long the look in your eyes, you can't hide it Ooh, baby, I know I turn you on You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Ooh, baby, I know I turn you on have already probably noticed this but I do like to watch and listen to a lot of motivational speeches and videos when I'm you know doing something and one of my most favorite one is by Eric Thomas and I love watching Eric Thomas he's just I love his boldness and his passion and in one of his videos he basically you know talks about how you should not allow people to just talk to you anyhow. Um, and it's like, you know, you can't talk to me 
like that. You can't talk to me the way that you want to talk to me. You can't tell me your limitations of what you think I can't do. You can't insult me. You can't, you just cannot talk to me anyhow, because I am a chosen generation. I'm a child of God. I have greatness in me. Uh, you just cannot speak to me the way that you want to speak to me. And that is the premise behind my, my passion to, I guess, deter any negative energy on my channel. I know that I'll always have haters and I'm okay with that. I don't mind. I, I don't, I don't really, I'm not going to pay any attention to that. Like there are always going to be haters for every and anything, but I just will not allow those people to pollute my life, to pollute my thinking of myself, to pollute my channel and my content. You know, you can hate as much as you want, but you just won't be able to, to you. I won't let your words um, affect me. I won't let your words linger on, um, on my page to, to make an effect. But, you know, uh, that's something that I also want to encourage you guys with, because I mean, we are all faced with, you know, critics and people who want to gossip about us or who want to say things about us. And, you know, it's, it's better not to pay too much attention to what people say. Like, there are some comments that you should definitely take into consideration and you should see how you can use them to improve your life, to improve yourself. But there are other comments that you just absolutely don't need to, you know, spend any more time on because to be honest, if, if you let yourself always think about what people will say, people say about you or, you know, the comments that they make about you, you just won't be able to do anything because you're always going to be afraid of what people will say. And I know for me, especially, when I received those comments, as I mentioned before, like at first I was afraid, like my heart was beating like really, really hard. And every time I got a comment, I would just be afraid. Oh my gosh, is this somebody else who's, you know, saying something mean about me or saying something mean about this video or, you know, trying to, you know, disrespect me on this video, on this uh, video. Am I going to have to bring my defenses up when I, you know, look at that comment? I would, I would always think about that, but I had to tell myself, no faith, quiet your heart. We will not allow a stranger who doesn't know anything about us to affect us like this, to make my heart beat like that. What? No. No, no, you will not talk to me anyhow. I am a chosen generation, royal priesthood. I am a queen. I am, I am just way more than <laughs> what you think you know of me from a video that you just watched. But I'm actually recording this video and my boys just woke up from their nap and I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to finish this so quickly as possible before they start screaming. But Milo is already crying already. But yeah. You will not talk to me like that. My boys have stained my couch, so I need to deep clean it. Just ignore it on this video because I'm going to be working on that today and I'll be deep cleaning it. But yeah, just wanted to put that out there. When I was young, I climbed up too high just to touch the sun. On my mission, no prescription, shoot for number one Start a riot, won't keep quiet, I'm a ride or die Heart is pumping, keep it coming, better run it high I was born for this, I was born for, I was born for this I was born for this, I was born for, I was born for this
So I actually ended up staying up pretty late to get my apartment cleaned. I was actually up until around 2 a.m. doing this. And that's only because I had a hard time getting my boys to go down uh, for their bedtime um, on this day. They just would not, you know, settle down and sleep. So I spent a little bit more time with them, you know, getting them uh, to sleep. But and that, of course, that kind of de delayed my cleaning start. But yeah, I'm so happy that I still was able to stay up and do it. Honestly, I work overnight. And so, you know, that kind of messes up my schedule. It messes up my sleeping schedule. And there are times when I don't really feel like sleeping or I just lose sleep completely. And I just, I'm like, oh, you know what? I would just clean. Um, so I end up staying pretty late, up pretty late cleaning. But guys, I hope you're enjoying this video. Um, if you do, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I didn't really mention this before, but I get all of my products from Growth Collaborative and all the links are going to be listed down below um, if you want to get your products. Um, I really do hope that you're staying safe wherever you are, that you and your family are doing well. Um, be sure to let me know in the comments, you know, your experience with this quarantine. I know that I've mentioned this in my other videos, just how fascinated I am, you know, with this time and with everything that's going on uh but yeah be sure to let me know in the comments you know how you're doing during this time if you're taking up any hobbies and whatnot <laughs> or if you're just impatiently waiting for things to uh, get back to normal like i am but yeah i mean i have been doing a lot of uh projects in my apartment to kind of get it to look much more homey um i posted a video where i shared with you my play area and how i got that um i i Kind of created it i did add some gates to it but my boys were like no they didn't want that to stay so they took the gates down um ended up just taking it out completely and now it it's just become a drive-through or walk by play area where they just walk by and if they like what they see they stop if they don't they don't stop um and i'm just i'm looking for other ways so i've gotten some suggestions in the comments and i do appreciate that and i will be looking Working on how I can incorporate that uh, with the gates though I think I just need something big enough that it will cover the whole space because my other gates were way too small and that's why they came off really easy I've been overtaken playing with the line of fire patient in the pain Finishing off my cleaning with just adding some drops of rosemary oil to my diffuser. I bought this one from Amazon and I like it so I'm just gonna let it run for the rest of the morning or night whichever one of that is uh, and we can wake up to a fresh clean home or apartment the next morning but guys if you enjoyed leave me a like comment and a subscription and I will be seeing you on the next one thank you so much for watching I hope you have a fantastic day smoke against the water now rehabilitation spitting all your poison out and if I'm being honest, honest It's like I'm shaking my skin And I feel so light I got my mind made up